Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you some paper crafting things together with a wooden frame as a decoration for your front door or any other room in your house for Christmas and or winter. Don't worry, I'm having the first part of the video sped up so that you know what is coming your way, but I'm going to slow down in a couple of minutes and show you how to fold those hearts real time. I did use a Christmas set that came from a Danish company. I'm going to link it down in the descriptions below. Also, I will try to put up the uh, instructions that came with the set, how to fold those hearts on my blog. So check out my blog. The link is also in the description below. So what I needed here was a 30 by 50 centimeter wooden frame, some tree bark. I did the wood burning on the frame. You can check out on day four. Go back there with the advent calendar thing. They can see how I do the wood burning. Some baker's twine, hot glue, other paper glue, pattern paper, wooden pearls and the half pearls that have adhesive already on the back side. I'm also using, uh, the, for the pattern paper, that is actually pre-cut in the set. But if you don't have that set but want to cut your paper on your own, it's 46 by 1.5 centimeters that I'm using here. So I use four of those strips and I have them cut at an angle on the end, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen now. And I am putting those four in a square where one strip is always looping <laughs> the uh, neighbor strip so that you can pull them together like I do now and have a solid square in the middle. And I'm aligning all of those four strips in a perfect 90 degree angle Pressing down hard to um, enhance the folds in the strips. And then I'm starting folding. So I'm starting with the upper strip. And there you have two pieces of paper and you take the upper part, as you can see here, and you just fold it downwards. Neat and tight and straight. And then you go with the left one, the upper strip again, going left to right followed by the lower one going up upwards, also always going for the upper strip only of those on each side. And last but not least, it's the, red one, uh, the right one, but I'm pulling it through the loop that I made on the upper left part of the middle square. You can see here, I put it through that tiny loop there. You need to jiggle and jaggle a bit if uh, your strip doesn't want to go through right away. And uh, you have that loop and you pull it tight. And uh, voila, step one of the heart is neatly done. I'm pushing down the folds a bit more to have it stay the way it's supposed to be. So then I uh, turn the cross at an angle and I'm taking the upper right strip, fold it or uh, turn it into a loop and pull it through that tiny square loop on the right hand side. And the closer or the, the more you pull that strip through, the smaller the, the upper parts of the heart will be. The same thing I also do with the left part of the heart, creating those by again looping it through the square piece in the center. And again, if it gets dark, jiggle jaggle a bit and uh, pull it through. Then I'm cutting off the two strips and I will fold uh, 
the lower right, as you can see here, I'm folding it upwards and I'm going to uh, cut it at an angle and I will thread that part of the paper strip into the same loop can see here it's I take a bit of patience at least on the first part that you're going to do and I'm also doing the same with the strip that is opposite the right hand side of the hearts loop I'm putting it into that square as well so that's 50% done. Hooray! Now it's time to turn the work. And then I'm going to start all over again. It's the same steps on the back side as well. I put the cross upside down so that I know where my top is and one of those heart loops has to be the top and I'm folding the strip the upper strip down the left strip to the right the lower strip upwards and the right one to the left also again threading it through that upper left hand square and pulling it through to have everything stay together having it neat and tight those uh, end of the t of the strips being cut at an angle really helps with exactly that pulling the strips through another loop so 75 percent done on uh, the right hand side, I am creating another one of the big loops for the heart. The same goes for the left hand upper part. I'm just adjusting everything that it looks nice. And then I am cutting down the excess as well and I'm folding the remaining two strips to cover the loops and um, uh, have everything just look as if it was square and nothing pulled through. So hiding all of those tiny pieces there, cutting them off because I find that easier and more clean. I'm using a tape adhesive here to glue down those final two strips because I want to make sure that everything stays in place for a long time. I will have another strip overlay that later on with some other glue but that is just because I'm going to add some twine to the heart and not because of the paper folding itself. You could also uh, glue those hearts or to something or lay them down. You don't have to go with the twine. So here's my frame that I wood burned and I'm adding the pine tree bark with some hot glue. I will link the day four advent calendar video below uh, where you can see how I did the wood burning and how easy it actually is to uh, give the frame some new look. Once I have applied the glue, I will leave the frame for a bit just to give the glue time to cool down and become solid. Meanwhile, I am cutting down baker's twine 
of, on, on different lengths because I want to hang up those hearts at the bark. Just cutting them down and I tie wooden pearls to the baker's twine to help the hearts hang straight because it's uh, they're quite light so the pearl actually makes them hang straight and help along gravity. If you have problems getting the twine through the pearl just use a wool needle to help along. It's working fairly simple then. And uh, once I have prepared all of my pearly twine I'm going to glue them to the heart to the back side and I will also cut a strip of the pattern paper I used that is exactly the size I need to cover up the twine on the back side of the heart. Uh, you will see that in a minute. It helps to use a toothpick or a needle or some other poking tool uh, to stick down the twine ends on the paper and not have your fingers all glued up. And also later on with the tree bark glue situation. So just have that at the ready. This is how I want it to be. Now I'm going to use a wet crafting glue this time, not the adhesive, tape adhesive roller. Uh, just because I'm using twine here and the twine does not hold too well with the um, tape adhesive. So you just saw me eyeballing the length of the paper strip I need to cut and I'm just putting down a tiny bit of that wet glue and then I'm putting on the twine holding it in place a bit and covering all of that up with the pattern paper. If some of the twine still sticks out, once you have the second strip of the pattern paper attached to the heart, I'm just taking a needle, but you could also, like I said, take a toothpick or something, just use that tool to push it underneath the paper strip and then give all of that a minute or two to dry and set up and it will hold everything in place. While the glue dries I'm choosing a couple of those half pearls that do already have adhesive at the back. So they're pretty cool to simply put down on paper and I'm choosing the medium size in that lovely bright red for my hearts with the stripey pattern paper. And I'm going to use the big size pearl, the Bordeaux red pearl for the polka dot paper. And that actually just, well, gives it a nice, more classy or Christmassy touch. You could leave that. Uh, you don't have to put the pearls on them and just have an uh, all year or at least wintry decoration for your door or somewhere in your house. So I turned the frame, the glue on the bark is dry. And I'm heating up my glue gun again and I would uh, put tiny blobs of hot glue on the back side of the bark and attach the baker's twine with the hearts to it. I don't want to burn myself again <laughs> like I did so I'm using the back side of a color scraper to push down the twine but again you could use um, maybe a toothpick or some other tool that you have in your crafting area that 
allows you to put the twine down without burning your fingers. And that pretty much sums up the video. I hope that you enjoyed today's advent calendar and got inspired. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will make sure to answer each and every one of them. I hope I see you tomorrow on a new crafting video and uh, enjoy. Have a good day. Bye.